Hey guys, it's me, the grill and villain, JK. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jen with Somerset Grills, filling in for the grill and villain today. He hurt his little man paw, so a woman's gotta take over. Today I'm gonna be grilling up steak, cheddar, mac and cheese. Mm. We're getting outside and grilling today and we want you to get outside and do the same thing. Take a picture of whatever meal you wanna make, post it on Instagram and tag Somerset Grills and you're gonna get a free t-shirt. Lucky you. Typically I cook on my Sizzler 32 at home, but since Wes is out of commission, I'm going to cook on his badass AMG today. Or he usually puts in million year red oak. I'm just gonna stick with charcoal today. All right, if you guys don't already know about the AMG and how it works, we're just gonna light the burners. We're gonna let that sit about three minutes. Once it's lit and you're burning your uh, natural fuels, we can turn the burners off and you're just gonna be rocking and rolling in the free world. First thing I'm gonna do is get the water going. We gotta boil this bad boy for the macaroni, so take some time to get that going first. All right, so I snuck this little baby Santa knife in today and you see him reminding you of the holidays? And what's a better gift for the holidays than a grill? A Somerset grill, that is. All right, so my butter's melted. I'm actually gonna move the water over to the hotter side to get that crank in. Put this on that side. And I'm gonna throw on my meat. Oh boy. I'm just gonna saturate it in the butter. Real. I got this recipe from a website called the uh, Pinch of Yum. Kind of a cute name. Anyway, a gal named Lindsay, I believe, is her name. She did this recipe on uh, the oven inside, so I'm kinda trying to master it myself on the outside grill. Oh, yeah, baby. Doesn't that always bother you? You know why it's called Ruth's Chris? Like why an apostrophe S? Because Ruth bought Chris's steakhouse. So it's Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Oh, learn something new every day, Brando. All right, I think they're pretty saturated, so I'm gonna throw them over to the open flame. Oh, baby. I don't think I've said, oh baby, so many times in one sitting. I think it's the villain rubbing off on me. Flip these bad boys. Really, you just cook to your liking. I am not a bloody red meat lover, so I'm gonna go a little longer than the average bear. Okay, I'm gonna start making my garlicky, cheesy, buttery sauce for the mac and cheese. Let me move these bad boys over. I'm gonna throw the remainder of the butter, the Santa butter, in my pan. Need a little help here. Okay. Let's do these little bad boys. I'm excited to try this recipe. It looks super cheesy, creamy, yummy in the post. So the water is finally at a boil. I'm gonna dump in the noodles. Dramatic pour. Add a little salt for taste. And the Grillin' Villains lady told me to add just a touch of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, so things don't stick. Good tip. I, I never heard that tip before. Thanks, Mom. Butter melted. Time to add the minced garlic and parsley that I just did. 
cool. I'm so curious on how this mac and cheese is gonna taste. Mmm. Little noodle stir. Not like I have to since it won't stick because of my new tip. All right, next step is to add the flour to your sauce. And a teaspoon of salt. And there we go. Let's get that all mixed in there. Leave that for about another minute and then we'll whisk in the milk. Whoa, creamy. Now for the milk. Ooh. I'm gonna, it's time to whisk this. I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes and then I'll add the cheese and wait till it melts and we'll be good to eat. Okay, while I'm waiting for the sauce and noodles to finish, I'm gonna bring over my meat and cut it. Ooh. Yummo. Oh yeah. So pretty, I don't want to ruin it, but I'm supposed to make them small. Sorry, guys. All right, my noodles are done. I'm gonna strain them over here since I don't have a sink. I don't know why the villain doesn't have a sink when Somerset makes sinks. Another great Christmas idea. Okay, guys, the butter garlic concoction is done. Cheese time, guys. Ooh, can't have mac and cheese without cheese. Oh boy. We're just gonna sit this here until it melts and then we will be down to throw in the steak, get it all warm, throw it over the noodles, and let's grub down. Oh. I think it's done, guys. Just gonna throw in the steak so I can warm that bad boy back up again. How many times do I say bad boy? So the noodles are strained. Let's dump those in. Now to put my cheesy masterpiece over it. Dang. Wow, that looks good. <laughs> that looks like my pants are gonna be extra tight later. I love the maternity section, although I've never had a child. All right, there she is. Man, I wanna take a bite so bad. All right, guys, that's the plated meal. Oh wait, not complete yet. Can't forget him. <laughs> Buy my grills. Buy grills for your friends for Christmas. <laughs> All right, so it's time to plate the steak cheddar mac and cheese. Oof. Just so delicious. Let me get one more little steaky piece on there. Delish. Today we're going to be pairing the mac and cheese with a Francis Coppola Malbec. Hold it. Yeah. Dang. What's an appropriate pour? Keep going? Just kidding. 
And there is our pairing. Forget about it. <laughs> Get okay. Come on, let's do this. Okay. Yeah. I'm hired. Big love and shout out to uh, Lindsay from Pinch of Yum. You guys should really give her a follow on Instagram. She's great. All right, guys, remember, get out there this weekend and do some cooking. And if you post your picture on Instagram and tag Somerset Grills, you'll win a free shirt. All right, time to wash this meal down with a little Malbec. All right, guys, that was super fun. Thanks for having me today. I know I'm not the grilling villain, but you could call me the grilling angel. <laughs> We're getting outside and grilling today and we want you to get outside and do the same thing. Take a picture of whatever meal you wanna make, post it on Instagram and tag Somerset Grills and you're gonna get a free t-shirt. Lucky you.